right here's a sink that's draining really slow and the most likely cause is there's just some buildup maybe some hair clots or some grease and oil that have kind of collected along the uh, edges of the pipe um, further down the drain and it's causing it to drain really slow as you can see so I'm going to show you a couple things you can do to fix this sink and get the drain working uh, like it should be one of the first things you can do is just run your hot water so you can turn that on and uh, fill up your sink or fill it up as fast as it'll drain and that hot water is going to sort of break up the oil and the grease and the little gunk that's kind of collected along the sides of the pipe warm that up and uh, break it up and flush it further down the drain further down the pipe maybe all the way to the sewer uh, clear up some more space for water to drain down we can use a chemical uh, drain opener this is just a generic uh, drain opener it's called sometimes it's called liquid plumber uh, the directions for this pretty straightforward first we'll pour about a quarter of this bottle down the drain and we'll let it sit for about 15 minutes and then we'll follow that with a flush of hot water So after 15 minutes, we're ready to flush the drain with hot water. We'll let that finish draining, and that might be all you need to do. You could also do this same cycle again. Pour some more drain opener in, let it sit for 15 minutes, and run the hot water again. So if you've tried all those steps and nothing's working, uh, the most drastic step maybe for the do-it-yourselfer is actually cleaning out this pipe underneath your underneath your sink, underneath the drain. It's called a, a P-trap. You can see it's kind of shaped like a, a letter P if you were to flip it upside down. The purpose of this is there'll be standing water at the bottom of this and that prevents uh, fumes and gases from the sewer from flowing up into your uh, sink, out your sink drain and kind of making your house smell really bad. So that's kind of the purpose of it. It's also a favorite spot for um, hair and grease and, and those sorts of things to kind of collect. So I'm going to show you how to uh, take this apart and clean it out and then we'll put it back together and, and see, how, uh, see how well the sink drains. I almost forgot, before you do any work uh, we're going to put a bowl underneath the uh, P-trap to catch that water. Give it a little more light there. So that's just going to catch any uh, water. There will be water, in fact, that uh, comes from that pipe after we after we loosen it. Okay, here we go. I've put on some gloves just to give myself a little bit of extra grip uh, to loosen these plastic fittings. You can see this is all plastic here, which is nice. Uh, it doesn't rust and uh, it gives a nice snug fit. And a lot of times you can really just loosen them just with your, your hands. Yeah, that's nice and loose, actually. Maybe a little too loose. So I'm going to separate that and this back part over here. Just that. And I'm supporting it with my other hand underneath. You can see the water draining off, draining out. As we open that pipe, just going to kind of wiggle that free. Uh, I don't know if you can see kind of how gray and dirty that water is there. I'm going to go ahead and dump that into our uh, bowl underneath here. Okay, let's take a look inside this. Okay, here is our pea trap that we just removed from the sink. Uh, now I'm going to warn you, this next part is gross. You're going to see a lot of uh, nasty stuff that's clinging to the walls of this section of pipe. So if that's not your thing or if there's you know young viewers at home and uh, you know it's maybe a great time for a popcorn break or a walk around the block or something like that. Okay, here we go. Isn't that disgusting? You can see this uh, the diameter of the pipe and you can see how much of that is choked off by this nasty looking stuff. Now it's a little hard to tell on the camera but it actually gets 
that little dot, that little section of light is really toward the bottom here, so it gets more constricted as it goes as it goes down uh, this pipe. But uh, disgusting stuff. This other side over here is actually, you know, gross. It's dirty, but it's you know not as constricted. So I'm going to clean out this section of pipe here uh, using a garden hose and a hanger probably just to kind of you know blow it out and, and clear off that stuff. It, it's nothing very hard, it's just kind of clinging almost like jello and goo to the side of the pipe. Um, yeah, here we go. Okay, here's our pipe uh, fresh from cleaning and you can already see much much better. There's a little bit of gunk kind of toward the bottom here, uh, but I'm not too worried about it. That's going to allow water to flow through our drain a whole lot better. Okay, with this little bit of hanger I have here, I'm going to actually uh, put this up inside this part that connects to the bottom of the sink and kind of clean out inside this as well. gross bits of junk kind of dropping out. Disgusting. Definitely worth wearing gloves when you're doing this. I think that's pretty well got it, or it's at least loosened up what is there, and when we run the sink again, all of that material will be uh, flushed out all the way out to the sewer line. Okay, we're ready to reinstall. I'm going to start by sliding this section of pipe back together, and then line up this bottom here. Now I'm going to tighten this fitting. This one's a little bit tricky. It's got to get aligned just right. Let's start gripping. There we go. And again, just kind of hand tight is fine with these. Now this upper section on pretty easy. Just make sure that's snug. Okay. Over the next couple weeks we're just going to keep our eye on this and make sure there's not any uh, leaks. Maybe leave that bowl there is a good idea. Thanks for watching and good luck.